The champions were looking to continue their unbeaten run in the Premiership, which stretched to 49 games and led United by 11 points in the league. It picked up a virus, so Phil Neville played in midfield and Rio Ferdinand returned to the United side as captain. Vieira had recovered in time from ankle trouble to skipper Arsenal. Jose Antonio Reyes was preferred to Robert Pires. Matters out with his older brother Gary. Ronaldo, Ashley Cole slid in and Mike Riley, on whom there will be plenty of scrutiny today, is quickly at the scene. Argentine ain't set to come forward. And Vieira's mistake, Wayne Rooney, super block by Colo Torre. Here's Rooney again, there's no flag. Ryan Dix for Manchester United, it hit Vieira. Campbell was in there as well in the way. Ince. Too long for Ronaldo. But a real chance in there for Ryan Giggs and Sol Campbell stood firm. John, we talk about all the player Manchester United. Let me tell you something, they've got a, a rock in the back there in Toure and also in Campbell. Both defenders do brilliantly. Toure gets the first block. What's Campbell rush out to Giggs? Another great block in there and they get the danger away. For all the flair, remember that they've got a great defensive record as well. The likes of Toure and Campbell, they play their part. One of the Frenchmen, Thierry Henry, to a Spaniard, Reyes, nice touch back. Henry trying to work some space and then putting his foot on the gas. And Van Nistelrooy, Rooney, quickly met by Vieira. And then Edu is down by Eitze and all of this is academic. Don't leave your seat, it's still nil-nil. Just a little reminder what Paul Scholes can still do. Ball dropped 25 yards out, right will be past Lehman. Just gave the keeper the nod, let him know that he's still around. See, foul there by Ainsay, but when the ball drives loose... Henry. Edu through the middle is Freddie Jungberg and Ferdinand struggling to get there. And Jungberg's beyond him, is that a foul? The referee says nothing doing and Jungberg is furious. Giggs left, but not as high as Lauren, it's out as far as Scholes. Ronaldo, too heavy. Brilliant find by Scholes. Awkward for the goalkeeper. Ronaldo! A chance. Have to go down as off a chance. Ball somehow squirmed its way through to Ronaldo from Rooney's corner. It's a step over initially by Giggs and... Error. Bergkamp to his left. Through the middle, though, is Thierry Henry! And that's a good stop, a smothering, sprawling stop by Roy Carroll. Well, first time we've really seen Henry get through and look on the point of scoring. It's a clever ball. What, it's what you call a diagonal run onto a straight ball. There's a diagonal run. There's a straight ball by Adu. Perfectly timed. A fantastic stop by Carroll coming out. Spreads himself big. Ronaldo. And Ronaldo fancies one. to concede in the corner. Six in the box for Wayne Rooney's corner kick. Plus Scholes outside it. And how many times have we seen meaty contact from Paul Scholes in that sort of position? United unbeaten at Old Trafford this season. In by Giggs. Ronaldo! Well, having got there, I do feel he should have maybe done better. Ain't say who actually got in his way. Decent ball there from Giggs, right in the danger area. Ronaldo seemed to almost turn his back on the ball. See as he jumps. Thinks looking for the contact from Campbell. Ainse. Edu goes down, clutching his face. Ainse lets fly. Secure handling by the German Lehman. Brian Giggs. Wayne Rooney. Manchester United start to press. Penalty given. And Arsenal are living. But Rooney went down, and Manchester United have a penalty kick. Again, the thing about if he gets this right, we'll see here. Rooney turns inside, he's low centre of gravity. Campbell hands out a leg. Rooney has every right to go over. Ooh, but is it a leg that made contact, Robbie? Well, on second inspection, I don't think there was actually any contact. Eight minutes to play at the home of their greatest rivals. It's Van Nistelrooy! Arsenal are behind, they're under threat. It is Manchester United who lead. Well, what a moment for Van Nistelrooy. What a massive moment for Manchester United. It must have been going through his mind at this very ground last year when he smacked that one onto the post. But clear not for good rude. 
I said he'll wait for his moment, he'll wait for his opportunity. You can see what it means to him. Keeps his head down, keeps his concentration, sends Lehman the wrong way. Puts Manchester United into the lead. Well, now we'll see what real character this Arsenal side have. Last year, his penalty rebounded from the face of... They've been setting records on a more or less weekly basis. Here's Pires, here's Ashley Cole! Fraction away from the angle. Goes into Pires, eventually tees up Ashley Cole with his good pressure on the ball. Here's Giggs, he might finish it here. He's away from Edu. Ryan Giggs foiled by Lehman. Arsenal are still in it. Possibilities here for Arsenal. Ainsey fails to stop the Swede, Jungberg. Now it's Colo Torre. Arsenal appeal, but the referee is not in the least bit interested. Saha. Three against two in Manchester United's favour. Here's Alan Smith. Rooney! No doubt about it now! Arsenal are bowled out for 49! Manchester United! Hanging on to that reputation that they so crave to be regarded as English football's top dogs. And it's that man Rooney, his first ever Premier League goal for Manchester United, confirms that Arsenal are beaten. Well, on his 19th birthday, we said this boy loves the big stage. Somehow you know his name's going to be associated to the headlines. And we've seen one or two unsavory moments there. Has scored the other from Alan Smith's cross. Do you think Alec Ferguson enjoyed that? You bet he did. Not finished yet, not by a long chalk. 21st century invincibles, no longer. Henri. Moves. It's all over. Arsenal are bowled out one short of their half century. They are invincible no longer. Beaten for the first time in a year and a half, and beaten not just by anyone, but by their very greatest rivals in a thunderous game. Manchester United 2, Arsenal 0. So the great Arsenal run finally came to an end. It had been a remarkable achievement by Arsene Wenger's side, who never quite recovered their verve and swagger after this. They went on to finish second, above Manchester United, who nonetheless completed a league double over them by winning 4-2 at Highbury later in the season. Sir Alex's joy was unconfined, but both teams were overtaken by Chelsea.